What's up everyone, Bones and Bombers here, and today I have a bot cards by mail video. So, this is something new for this channel, and I bought some cards from an online seller. I would like to showcase the cards that I bought, and I would also like to review their website, and you know, the seller himself, and things like that. Yeah, things like that. So, let's get into opening this. I'm really excited because I got some really nice cards that I purchased. So here it is, comes in a nice bubble mail, cover up the name, anyway. so here are the cards that I got, and it's very nice, they're all in mint condition, they all come in individual plastic sleeves, in individual penny sleeves, very great service. So here is my Cadabra from Base Set, I got a Nidorino from Base Set, Pidgey from Base Set, Voltorb from Base Set, Lickitung from Base 2, Skullpede from Black and White, Hydreigon from Dragon's Exalted, First Edition Erica's Clefairy, First Edition Hitmonchan from Neo Destiny, Light Ninetales from Neo Destiny, Chikorita from Neo Genesis, Chinchou First Edition from Neo Genesis, Quilava from Neo Genesis, Totodile from Neo Genesis, Caracosta, Drudagon, Palpitoad, Seismitoad, Tortuga, Volcarona, and Dark Dragonair from Team Rocket. So, I will switch over in just a moment to the Camtasia recording of the online seller review after I put away these cards. So, let's move on over. So, on to the review of ProfessorOak.com, which is where I got this BCBM. It's a very unique site with Pokemon and Magic the Gathering cards. Um, now, one of the main reasons why I like this site is you can sell or trade in your TCG online codes. And that's just because I just don't use them. I just don't really have interest in the, uh, in the game. I just enjoy collecting them. I'll show you the area for TCG codes. You can buy them as well for the prices listed over here. Or you can either sell the codes for... Um, a fairly dynamic price, which is always changing. 30 cents is really nice, because I sold about 50 of my code cards, and I got $15 of store credit that I could use. Um, codes for stuff. And you see, you can also get, like, pa booster packs. Wow, these are really sold out. There, there used to be a lot more of these in here. Um, yeah, so not too much to choose from here. But that's nice if you don't want to just it's, just... it's just, you know, more options. Um, let's see, there's a lot of other cool stuff there. The prices really are a little high, in my opinion. But the shipping is great. Came in about three or four days. He um, ships his stuff out from Pennsylvania. And see over here, mint cards? That's 100% true. I can guarantee that every single card I got was in mint condition, and if you're going by grading, I'd give it like a 9 or a 9.5. So, um, yeah, so there are a lot of cool stuff. I'll, sh I'll just search up random Pokemon uh, Pikachu, just to show you around. So, you can you can organize it by a bunch of things. You can show just rares, uncommons, and commons. You, got, you can check them off here. You can, have, you can uh, change the language. You can say uh, by the game. You can sort it by price. So apparently, the, apparently, the most expensive Pikachu card is one hundred and twenty dollars, which I find pretty interesting. It's just an error card, so it's not like it's like super important. But then again, there is a Pichu, Pikachu Star, which is super awesome in my opinion. I would love to get that card someday. Anyway, so, but if if you go to like the cheapest one, like you can get a Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu for like twenty five cents, like. Um, the common cards, the cheapest ones, are all 25 cents, which is great, in my opinion. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, what? No. Ah, uh, I don't want to cut this out. Fine. Um, now, there is a couple more things that I want to show off from this site. Number one... You can do a price check on a card where you can find how, um, 
not how, not, you can find the value of a card. So let's say you have a really rare card and you just don't know how expensive it is. So, let's, so for example, I have a um, full art restaurant. Restaurant from black and white. I'll cut this out. So I have a Reshi Ram. And when you search it up, what? So I have a Deoxys shiny that I pulled fairly recently. And my Deoxys is the Shining Deoxys from Call of Legends, which is right here. And. Where is that? Here it is. Here's the Deoxys Shiny Legendary number one, Shining Hollow. And there it is, worth five bucks. And that's really cool in my opinion. And there's also Advantage, which is kind of stupid for them. So you can basically buy entire commons, uncommons, and rares, any combination of those three um, of an entire set. So I'll just show, pick a random set, boom, uh, Dragon Frontiers. Language, any, or English, my opinion. So, exclude term or include term, rares, uncommons, and commons. Let's just uh, uncheck commons just for the heck of it, just to show you off. And then, yeah, so that would be, to buy all that based off of his prices, $262. Um, yeah, so that, I think that's a really neat thing if you ever want to buy um, a complete set from him, which is interesting. And they always, they always have, like, a sale a day. Which is pretty cool. I really like that Dusclops EX card. It's really cool. I never really got into the EX Emerald set. I have more of the mid to later EX set cards. Like uh, Crystal Guardians, Power Keepers, um, Hall and Phantom. Things like that. You can also manage your collection here. But this is not very useful in my opinion. It can be a bit um, tedious. Now, they also have Gem Mint cards. Which is... Eh, I mean, I don't really get the point of having them. So, here is a, a Smeargold Gem Mint for $50. I mean, I'm not going to pay $50 for just a hollow gem. Just because it's a little... It's higher than mint. I mean, I don't find that to be so important. What else is cool is that you can buy gift certificates. That's really cool. So, thanks for watching today's video. And for now, I will see you later.